Hey, welcome back to the channel. It's been a long time, I know. Uh, and it was requested a couple times uh, about the card system. And so I figured I'd break one out and show you how I assemble it. It's really easy. These are all the parts. It comes with a bottom shelf. This is the top shelf, which is where the burner system just dips into the hole. Four locking swivel wheels. They are three and a half inch locking swivel wheels half inch bolt and what they do is they screw into the bottom of the legs uh, it has a half inch also a nut so if that one leg isn't uh, touching the ground or you have an issue with that i'm going to show you how to assemble it with getting around that issue but if there is an issue there you can adjust this uh, by you know raising or lowering the nut i always start with them all the way down it also has these four bumpers uh, these are about inch and a inch and a half, five sixteenth bolts. Uh, eight of those, and these square washers. And then it also comes with uh, these round washers that'll go on the uh, the bolt of the the wheel as we assemble and screw the wheels into the bottom of the legs. And it comes with the tool. So with all that said, let me just show you how it goes together. We'll just keep it real simple. Is I'll take these square washers and I'll just kind of prep these. I'll put all these together in the burner assembly kit it, it will have uh, instructions on how to uh, adjust the hose and regulator as well as setting up this cart what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this shelf actually put this one close by I'm going to put two bolts through here and I'll put four bolts into the legs kind of get those ready I get the shelf and I'm going to line up this hole like that and just get a couple threads going one there one there and then I'm going to take the bottom shelf and line that up you'll notice too that these potato chip uh, don't let that alarm you it's just the nature of the stainless that we're using is very thin stainless to keep the cart lightweight get a couple threads there and a couple threads here just finger tighten And now what I'm going to do is roll it over. I'm going to get my other set of legs and do the same thing. All right. And we'll put up one of those bolts. Line up the second one. If they don't line up, these horseshoe legs can bend together. So you just, I use my body weight and pull it together just a little bit just to get that bolt lined up. Boom, like that. Finger tighten there and finger tighten here. Okay, and then from here, what I'm gonna do is just take the Allen wrench. I'm not gonna tighten it all the way because I wanna make sure that when I do go to tighten it all the way, I can try to get it so all the wheels sit on the ground at the same time. All right, so. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the wheels on before I tighten everything down. Right. And what goes on next is these four bumpers upside down and I just make sure they're flush with the bottom of the leg like that. And this is my little trick that I 
is I want to make sure that all these nuts are all the way seated down on the bottom of this uh, half inch bolt. And then a washer goes here. And then what I like to do is I put the brake on, right? And then I just simply thread it here and I can turn this whole wheel with the brake on. Seat it all the way down, boom. Now the brake can come off. We'll put the brake on the second wheel, put the washer here in place, thread it in. Tighten it down, release the brake. Third leg, put the brake on. Fourth leg, put the brake on. Take that one off. Washer. Brake off. Now just roll this thing back around. Okay. And now I'm going to start tightening up all the bolts. I'm simply going to go kind of kitty corner on on one side and then go to the other side. So we'll start here. We'll just bring this up to tight. That looks good. I come down here. that and then this one and now because it's on swivel wheels I can just spin this baby around like this and we'll tighten this corner and then go down to this corner That's it. And there's your easy walk cart setup. One other thing I wanted to talk about, about removing the film. The easiest way that I found is I have a dowel that's at least this wide. To remove the film is I peel up the sides till it comes up to the edge here on all four sides. And then I start it rolling it around a piece of dowel and then you can just roll it off and it'll peel right off. That's the easiest way that I've found to take that film off. And you want to peel this off before you assemble the cart. There's your easy walk cart. I want to thank you for hanging in with me. I know it's been a long time since I've been here uh, and we're going to get some more recipes out soon. So thanks for coming by.